we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so that when you step on these pressure plates right here they won't open the door but these will regardless if the door is locked or not see open but these right here will not and please don't ask me why this why it won't lock with it going down like that I, I have no clue haven't been able to figure it out but this right here works it, it works so you know I went ahead and built up uh, our little place over here and dug out the ground and everything unlike last time where I had to dig dig while I was doing while I was on camera so uh, let's just jump right in there As you can see, here's our little spot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, let me make sure I got the place where the pressure plates are. Okay, so I'm right. We're gonna do the same thing basically we did for the other one, for the uh, regular door with pressure plates. But instead of doing it exactly the same, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're not gonna connect this this set of uh, pressure plates to anything. This set of pressure plates will be by itself. So you won't be looping it around to touch any of these. This is basically it right about here. Well, this is it for this part. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna connect it to an AND gate. And the reason we're connected to the AND gate is so that it can tell it when to um, lock. I mean, when it's locked and when it's not locked. And let's see. Okay. Okay, that should do it. Let's see here. Okay, now this this is how this is going to go down. This is quite simple. You want this end gate, I mean this uh, pressure plate right here to go to one. Got it just a little too far back. Let me move it up one. All right. This. The bad thing about having a door lock is that you have to have a redstone torch on the outside of your house, but you can always hide it like I did over there so you know we're gonna put our redstone torch right here and we're gonna throw our lever on this side okay let's see here Did my measurements a little wrong, but it's okay. We can fix that. Then you're gonna run your redstone from up there down to this side. So this side is run to one side. This side is run to the other side, and the back part of it is going to run over to touch this one. Just like that, and that's about it. That's that's the tutorial all in a nutshell. Let me see. These doors open. I hate when that happens. I, I really hate when that happens. That's why my doors on my uh on my game are white with delays. So that does not happen. And as you can see these doors are locked. If you come around here and flip the switch, these doors open and these doors open.
that's it for the tutorial. Uh, the best way I can say to cover this up would be to do it this way. I mean, it's not bad, but you know, I know people. I know some people don't like to look, have their stuff looking all a mess and stuff like that. But the best way is to do it is just just do it this way, simple. See, towards right there, and I just made this side look identical to that side. As you can see, it works out perfectly. One more look at the uh, switches for you. You have yeah, doors wired to this set of pressure plates. When you step on these pressure plates, it bypasses whether the lock, whether it's locked or not. It bypasses it and goes straight to the doors. That's why you have it just like this. And it then this one right here is, is connected to over there. Just a simple wire. And this one right here is connected to up there. Another simple wire. I'm pretty sure some somebody out there will find a way to hide the redstone torch or make better use of where it's placed. But, you know, that's what I have for now. Um, until next time, we'll probably be working on something a little bit different. Uh, we might be going ahead and exploring this right here. As you can see, the only way you can get it to do it is if you press the right combination in. Hitting another one resets it. You can put the combination in any sequence, but as long as you put it in there. Once you step on a pressure plate going into the house, it shuts the door. But you can always step on a pressure plate to go out. Anyways, we might work on this next time. Till then, um, just been King of BCG bringing you another tutorial.